Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So as you can probably tell from the insane amount of packages in front of me, I'll be filming a huge K-pop haul today since it's what the majority of you guys wanted to see. At least according to the poll that I put up in my community tab last night, I think it was like 85% wanted to see a huge K-pop haul and the other 15% wanted to see the rest of my photo card collection, which by the way, I promised to do as well. It's just I wanted to see what you guys wanted to watch first. So basically, this is everything I've received in the mail since the last haul I uploaded, which was around two months ago, I think. So yeah, it's a lot and I don't even know where to begin. There's like 32 packages here, including stuff that I got from the Super M concert back in November, as well as like a bunch of fan art from when I attended anime and I see. And I also did a little damage at Barnes & Noble's recently, as you can see that huge bag over there, as well as this small one in the front. So I will be sharing some manga with you guys as well. I know not everyone is into that, but I don't care. I'm including it in this haul for all of my fellow weaves because I know they'll appreciate it. But don't worry, I'll save that for the end of the video as always and start with the K-pop related stuff, going from the smallest package to the biggest one. And I think I actually have a couple of my packages on the way. Like I just got an email notification this morning saying that there is a package out for delivery. So if I receive that while I'm filming this, I'll be sure to include it. If not, I'll just save it for the next haul. So yeah, let's just get straight into this haul since it's going to be a long one. Okay, so as always, I want to start off with the smaller envelopes that I've received in the mail. So yeah, this is the only trade that I have in this haul to share because I just haven't been trading lately. And then these two actually were gifted to me by the same person. Beverly, if you're watching this, thank you so, so much for sending me these. I actually received this one in the mail first. And then just a week ago, I received this one. I was not expecting two things. I know she asked me if it was okay to send me a holiday or a Christmas letter, and I said okay to that, but I told her not to send me anything else because I really don't need anything. And yeah, she said it's okay for me to open it on camera, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll open the trade, which I'm also really excited for. This is like probably the most important trade that I've done. <laughs> like, I'm just so, so excited for that. So yeah, let's do this one first. Oops. Okay, so I ended up reading this letter off camera because turns out it's a little more personal than just a Christmas card. So I just want to thank you, Beverly, once again for sending me such a sweet, sweet letter. Like, she was just checking up on me to see how I was doing after I deactivated my Twitter. So for those of you who don't follow me on there, I deactivated my account about a month ago just because Stan Twitter was getting to be too toxic for me and there was something that kind of triggered me specifically and made me realize that, like the way my mental health is so fragile right now, like I can't deal with that kind of stuff. So it's been good for me to step back a bit, but I do want to go back and interact with you guys again because it's like the only platform I know to kind of connect with my audience from YouTube because there's only so much like going back and forth that I can do like in the comments, like on my videos. So yeah, but thank you so, so much once again for sending that to me. And she also included this really cute Jungkook transparent photo card and I love it so much. This honestly made my day. So that alone like was just the most precious thing <laughs> that she could send me. And then she also sent me another letter, so let's get this one open. Okay, so I ended up reading this letter off camera as well, just to make sure that there wasn't like any personal information included in this one, which there isn't. So since she did say it was okay for me to read her letter on camera, I figured I'd do that since I thought it might be fun for her to see my reaction as I read so, it. She just wrote, Hi Sana, happy holiday. I've been missing you a lot from Twitter. When you are ready, please come back. I hope you're resting well. Can't wait to see what kind of things you buy. <laughs> I've been buying Magic Shop Japan goods and I bought Fake Love Hoodie. Oh my gosh, me too. Well, actually, you're the one who reminded me that they were going on sale. So I got the Fake Love Hoodie as well as the Fake Love tote bag. So yeah, sure. I really hope I get to meet you one day. Or if you ever come to LA, I would love to meet up with you. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my gosh. I would love to meet like all my subscribers and like my mutuals. Like if we could just have like one big meetup, like, oh my gosh, at a BTS concert, that would be like the best ever. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be coming to LA anytime soon, but oh my God, I would love to. I've never been actually, so you can show me around. <laughs> so yeah, sure. I'm always here for you if you need someone to talk to and I'm here to watch your videos always. I guess we're both bad influences <laughs> to each other. Oh my god, seriously. She's also like Jungkook biased, so we both collect him and 
we're always like saying like which cards we need and what we want to buy <laughs> so that was like honestly the sweetest thing ever like both of your letters like they just made me so so happy okay so now moving on to the only trade of this video so let's get this open oh my gosh this is such a pretty card just says thank you oh my gosh okay so as you can see i finally got the last uh fifth muster jk uh photo card that i was missing it's um his three out of eight i think so yeah and she also included freebies and oh she wrote a little note too so she wrote hi Sana. i hope jk finds his way to you safely i'm excited because you're the first youtuber i watch i've gotten to trade with i'm glad i could help you with your collection which is amazing take care and there is her ad she's so sweet i honestly can't tell you how happy i was when she reached out to me and said she wanted to trade her um jungkook photo card for the extra that i had because i had two of his um four out of eight and that was just so nice of her like she didn't have to help me but yeah and then she also included these freebies oops i dropped something oh it's a little sticker of ot7 and we got this one a jka <laughs> And oh, Yoongi, look at him with his 100 million likes. <laughs> Honestly, if they had their own individual like Instagram accounts, my gosh, we would all lose it. Oh, and it just says happy sugar day. And, and then we got this one from Magic Shop Fifth Muster. And this one from, what was it? Love Yourself Her? Or, yeah, I think it was Love Yourself Her. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. But yeah, thank you so much for those. And oh, the card itself. <laughs> so let me get this out. All right, so here's the photo card. And look how freaking cute my bunny boy is, like in his little suspenders. And this is actually before he got his hand tattoos, which like I'm not used to seeing him without now. And even in, like, Bon Voyage, we got, like, a sneak peek of his a tattoo sleeve. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't. But anyways, here's the photo card. And on the back here, it just says 3 out of 8. So yeah, this was the very last photo card that I needed to complete this set. So I'm super happy about that. It's going to be so satisfying to, like, put that in my photo card binder. Okay, so actually both of these are, like, photo card sets. So I'm going to speed this part of the video up and just show them really fast because this video is going to be really long if I, like, stop and talk about, like, each thing. So wherever I can, like, forward and speed things up, I'm going to do that so that we can get through 30-something packages. So yeah, let me move these back a little bit. Okay, so before we get into the official photo cards that I bought, I just really quickly wanted to show you guys some of the freebies that the seller included because they're really cute and I always love freebies. So they've included this little sticker as well as some unofficial photo cards and they sent me all Jungkook because I bought his photo card set. So then we have this one from Begin. I love that stage so much. I can't believe it's been almost three years since like Wings era. Like that's actually when I became an army, like around that time. So. I don't know, it's just crazy how time flies. And then we have this one and this all white fit. Like, he looks so freaking good. And then this one is so rude. Like, look at that tongue. And, like, the sweat glistening on his neck. Like, oh my gosh, sir, I'm on my knees for you. And then this next one is going to kill you guys because it killed me when I read the quote. <laughs> I'll be sexier this year. Like, remember when he actually said that? And my gosh, he was not joking. Like, I was not prepared at all. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because if I have to suffer, so do you. <laughs> That's the deal. And yeah, now we can get on with the photo cards that I bought. <laughs> so let me get this open.
Okay, so those are all the photo cards that I purchased recently. So as you can see, they're all Jungkook, no surprise there. Lately, I've just been like prioritizing collecting his things. So at the top here, I have all eight of his Love Yourself, Speak Yourself, the final photo cards. And then down here, I have his Fist Muster in Japan photo card set. So now I'm just missing his unit photo cards because I do intend to collect those, but I'm thinking about waiting to purchase them until like after I receive the photo card sets that I've pre-ordered off of Weeply because um yeah i did order the final goods as well as fifth muster in japan goods so those won't be shipped out till like sometime in january till march i think the final goods will be shipped out in january and like the fifth muster in japan probably like a month or so after that so it'll be a while but once i receive those i'll do a haul for those as well and yeah i just really love these photo cards so much like i'm obsessed with the fifth muster in japan photo cards like i just love the whole aesthetic and I just love his long hair too, like it was perfect that length, but honestly he could pull off any hair length, like he's already proven that to us, like time and time again. And I just really love this outfit too, like look at his tiny little waist, like I love these pants so much because it just accentuates his tiny waist. And somebody actually described Jungkook's body type as a Dorito, and honestly, like, true. <laughs> But anyways, we know he's the best boy ever. And by the way, let me know in the comments below if you guys would be interested in seeing like a storing away my photo cards with me type of video because I don't know, I guess I've been seeing them a lot lately in my recommended feed so I'm guessing they're trending and if it's something you guys would like to see from me, I'd be more than happy to film that for you as I personally enjoy watching them. So yeah, let me know. But anyways, let me clear this up so that we can take a look at the next package. Okay, so as I was clearing that up, it turns out that I did get two more package deliveries. So I got this one poster tube from Choice Music LA, and I have no idea what this could be because like I never select posters with my orders, and I don't know, they never usually give posters as freebies, not like this at least. So maybe I mistakenly added a poster to one of my orders and just don't know, <laughs> but we'll find out in just a bit. And then I also got this package, which is from A. Johanna. She's a fan artist. I have hauled some of her prints before and I'm super excited for this package. She was doing like a Black Friday or a Cyber Monday sale. so. I snatched up some things, so I'm really excited for that, but I think I'm going to save that for like when I do my fan art segment later on in the video because um, I had to kind of structure this in a way that makes sense. So first we're going to take a look at like official things like albums, and then we're going to take a look at like official merch, and then we'll look at fan art, and then at the very end we'll take a look at the manga stuff that I have. And yeah, hopefully, like in that order, we'll get through everything. So yeah, let's start off with some of the albums that I got during a Cyber Monday sale from Choice Music. I actually got a shit ton of stuff from Choice Music. Okay, so here's the first package that we're going to take a look at. So as you can see, it's already opened. That's because I allowed myself to open only one package out of the 30 however many that I have. So yeah, I hope you guys don't hate me too much, but... Yeah, I couldn't help myself. Like, this was actually the heaviest box that I got, and it said, like, fragile on it, and I'm like, what the heck did I order in here? Because I was just, like, losing track of all the Choice Music packages that were coming in the mail, so, yeah, I opened one, but we'll still take a look at the albums really quickly and just see my pull. Okay, so these are all the albums that I got. So I got a total of, let me see, four, five, six, seven albums. And two of them are TXT, two are Day6. Then I got uh, One the Nine, Astro, and ATs. So these are all October comebacks, except for this one, which I think was released like last month in November. 
But yeah, I've been behind on like my album collecting just because I've been focusing way too much on like BTS merch and stuff. So I had a lot of catching up to do. So when I saw that Choice Music was doing like a Cyber Monday sale, I took that as my opportunity to buy a lot of albums that I've been missing out on. There's still a few more that I need to get. Like I do want to get Oneness. I've been thinking about getting Victon, but like I don't want to start a new collection at the moment. So maybe I'll pass on them. And I want to get like the other version for Blue Flame and the other version for All to Action, but for now I just got one each. And yeah, so first let's start off with the freebies that Choice Music gives because they're always generous with their freebies. And then we'll take a look at all my pulls. So yeah, whenever you order from Choice Music, they give you this Choice Gang sticker. And then just really quickly, these are some of the photo cards that they gave. So they'll usually just like give you photo cards of like members from like the albums that you got. So. Yeah, I got ATs, Day6, um, who else? Astro. <laughs> so, yeah, some more here. So these are like the bigger size photo cards that they give. So, really nice quality. And I got Day6. This is Book of Us Gravity, that's the older album, and then this is Entropy. So, yeah, that was really nice. Why don't we start with... Day six, I guess we'll just go down this way. So we'll start off with this one. Okay, so as you can see, I got both versions of Day Six's third studio album, The Book of Us Entropy. So I have the sweet version as well as the chaos version. And I'm not gonna bother doing like flip throughs of any of these albums just because these are older releases. So there's plenty of unboxings up already. So yeah, but I can like really quickly go through the track list and mention my favorite tracks before looking at my pulls. So right here. So yeah, this was a studio length album, so we got 11 tracks, which is always nice. And uh, I guess my favorites, I really like the lead single, Sweet Chaos, and Deep in Love, and Not Mine. I think those are my favorite tracks. Oh no wait, Rescue Me Too. Yeah, that one's really good too. Like tracks 4 to 6. Basically the whole album, guys. <laughs> like just stand A6 for like clear skin and good grades. Ooh, okay, so here are my pulls. So let's just get this little ad out of the way. So first up, you get like two photo cards. So I got like one selfie card and one unit card. So, and I think there's like 40 photo cards with like that comes with these albums like all together, which is crazy, but we're not really surprised, are we? <laughs> this is JYP we're talking about. So yeah, I got Sungjin and uh, I tend to pull them a lot, but you'll see that I have the biggest Young K curse ever. So he made his first appearance in this unit card with one pill and they're adorable though so <laughs> can't complain and then i got his bookmark and i like these bookmarks but unfortunately like you know these can dent the pages because like they're sandwiched like inside the photo book so yeah one of my pages got dented because of this but anyways i got his it looks really really nice in that suit and then lastly you get like a postcard like a random member postcard and of course I got Young K. <laughs> so yep, those were my pulls for that version. And yeah, let's take a look at this one now. So once again, the flow thing and then again Young K. So this is a really cute card. It looks like he's making a heart. I don't know if he's making a heart with himself or with another member, but yeah, I got him. And then I got his unit photo card with one pill again, but this is a different one. At first I thought I got the same one, but they're different. So I'm happy with that. And then I got his bookmark. It's like he's trying to tell me something. He wants me to bias him so bad. And honestly, I might as well, because I do like all day six members. Like, I don't know, Jay's just my bias because he's like the first member I noticed. I remember when I was watching like the I Wait video, like he's the first one that caught my attention and I thought he was like the coolest ever, but then I started following him on Twitter and <laughs> watching his like um, YouTube videos and I realized he's the biggest dork ever, but that just made me love him more. <laughs> Anyways, then I also got Young K's uh, postcard again. So yeah, because I don't collect A6, like I'm not too picky, like I just want like any other member because I don't want dupes, but... Like I mentioned, Jay is my bias. It would be nice to get him because he avoids me at all costs, but feel free to message me if you want to trade for any member. And same thing with the bookmark. And because I didn't pre-order these albums, I didn't get like the little film photo card, but again, it's not a big deal as I don't collect them. 
And yeah, so that's it for this album. Let me clear this up and we can take a look at the next one. Okay, so next up we have TXT's The Dream Chapter Magic, and I love this album so much, so I had to get both copies, because at first I wasn't sure if I should be collecting all versions of TXT, but like, who am I kidding? They're BTS's little brothers, and I consider them my nephews, because like, if BTS are my sons, they're my nephews. So why don't we start with this album first? So this one is, um, what's it called? Arcadia, and that's Sanctuary. And we're just going to look at my polls and the track list, like we did for Day 6. So, yeah, all the packaging is a little bit better than the other one. I just didn't like that blue and yellow color. Like, it looked like, I don't know, Walmart or something. Like, <laughs> are those even Walmart's colors? I feel like they would be. So, you get a bunch of random things. So, one is this student ID pad. So, I got Taehyun. And then you get two photo cards. So, I got um, Subin for this one. And then I got... Bongyu, is that how you say his name? I feel like I'm mispronouncing it, but I got Bongyu for that one. And then this is just really cute. It's like little post-it notes, but you know, we're not going to use that. Then you get these little glasses, which I think like you use to like look at the message in the back of one of those cards. Then you get the big hit little, what do you call it, code thing, the survey. So I used that already. And then you get the sticker pack and an ad. And then the photo book. Oh, by the way, they're sorry to do these like new Comcast stickers, which I don't know how I feel about that, but it's not a big deal. I don't know why I'm going through this. I guess we can take a look at the track list then. Oh, right here. Uh, I really like new rules and oh my gosh, Runaway was so good. I don't know which I like better, that or Crown, but like my favorite TXT song of all time is Our Summer, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I also really like Magic Island. Like, there's something about their, like, really slow songs. Like, they're just so calming. And what else? I mean, they're all good. I know they released a video for Angel or Devil recently. That was really cute. I also like this one, track number five. So, yeah. Solid album. Had to support my boys. And I don't have a bias yet, but I feel like that will change soon. I just have to, like, watch their videos more to, like get a feel for the members, but I actually should keep this out. Alright, so that was that version, so now we can take a look at the other one. So for this version, spoiler, but I got basically all the same pulls. So let's see if I could get this out. Alright, so as before, I got Taehyun's like student ID pad. So if anybody wants to trade me for any member, um again not picky, I don't collect TXT, so any member will do. And then for this, I got Subin's other card, because this one was his black one, so they're different. He's holding up the peace sign in this one, and it's the black background, and this one's white. So, uh, like, I can keep both of them, I don't really care. And then this one I got Bumgyu again, so yeah, basically this and the student ID pad. Like, without Subin's card, like, these are up for trade for any other member, basically. So, yeah, and then everything else is, like... The same, except for the photo books, which are different, but we're not going to go through those right now. So yeah, those are my pulls. And here, let me take these out. So yeah, that was TXT. So now let's move on to the next album. All right, so next up I have ATZ's All to Action album. So I only have one version, which is the A version. The white one, which is the Z version, was out of stock. So I'll get that another time. But yeah. I really love this album. It's their first studio album, and we'll discuss the tracks as we go through my polls. So, just a second. It's a really thick photo book, too. It's really nice. Oops, all my cards are here. I'm going to move that aside. And let's see. I actually don't have an AT's bias just yet. I'm going to say, where are the tracks? Oh, actually, I think the tracks are on the back of these card thingies. So, oh, here we go. Yeah, track list. So, actually, Wonderland, like, it grew on me. I, I wasn't really that impressed when I first heard it, but that's actually always the case with ATs's, like, lead singles. I don't really like them at first, but then, like, I'll keep listening to it, and then I'm like, yeah, now it's one of my favorite songs. But my absolute favorite is Dazzling Light. Like, oh my gosh, that song is just so beautiful. I love it. And actually, I'm really obsessed with the overture. Like, that's really good. <laughs> I always love, like, their intros, outros. Like, it's so epic. And I really like Wind and Sunrise as well. 
but they're amazing like i still don't have a bias but actually i think sangua might just be it but it's almost been a year i really should like pick one but i can't they're they're all so good and talented <laughs> like how does anybody have like an at's bias so anyways you get a group card then you get this weird thing like you can kind of like read the message like that and then i got you know so i don't collect anybody specifically so i'm happy with that so yep that's it for our ATs. so now let's move on to the next album okay so the next album that i got is one the nine's second mini album blah blah and this is kind of random for me just because like i told myself after 101 disbanded that i wouldn't get into like any more temporary groups just because like i didn't want to have to put myself through that heartache again but for some reason i made an exception for this group like at the beginning of the year i was just so impressed with their first mini album and i loved the song domino so much that i just ended up buying their album and once again i was impressed by their second mini album and i just love the title track blah so much that i figured might as well just get it and complete my one the nine collection since they will be disbanding in just like a couple of months so i really just wanted to support them they're so underrated but so so talented and i just love the concept so much like they all looked amazing in the music video as well like if i just really quickly like flip through this photo book just because i feel like there's not that many unboxings like why is the entire world sleeping on these boys? Like, wake up, please. So, anyway, let's just take a look at my pulls. So, I got this cutie. And, hold on. What's his name? Like, I just can't pronounce that. Like, is it Taekyun? But, yeah, he's really cute. And then, you get this, like, random unit postcard. So, yeah, I got Taekyun again. And then, I think that's Jin Sung and Taewoo. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, because I feel like I'm always wrong. And then lastly, you just get, like, a fold-out poster, which might just be the same for everyone. So, yeah, you probably can't see it all, and I'm too lazy. But that's pretty much it for this album. So, yeah, let me move this aside, and we'll take a look at the last album. Okay, so the last album that I got in that package is Astro's Blue Flame album. So as I mentioned earlier, I just got one version, the story version, but I do plan on getting the other one, the book version, just because I prefer that concept more and also just because I wanted to get like a signed copy of that one because it's like a beige color and I feel like the signatures would show up more clearly on that. But anyways, for now, let's just take a look at my polls for this one. And actually here, let's take a look at the track list first. So I really do like all these tracks, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't even skip a single one, there's only five tracks anyways, but Love Blue Flame, Go and Stop, and All About You. Oh my gosh, when I like heard All About You, I'm like, this is my jam. Like, you can tell just from the opening, like it's gonna be lit. So anyways, uh, here's the postcard. So everyone gets this group postcard, and I don't have an astro bias just yet, but I'm leaning towards Unu. Is that how you pronounce his name? Like, gosh, I hope I pronounce everybody's names correctly. Like, but please feel free to correct me in the comments because I would like to learn. And, okay, so let's just get my pulls. So you get a lot of things. So let's start off with the random bookmark. And I don't know how I feel about this little contraption yet. Like, XOSC did this for their What A Life album. And as we just saw, Day6 did it for their Entropy album. And, yeah, I don't know. I could live without it. It's not like you can really put these, like, in photo card binders. But anyways, I digress. So I got Rocky, and then for the photo cards, I got Jinjin and Sana. And I don't collect anyone specifically, so I'm okay with all my pulls. And then lastly, I got MJ's random postcard. So yeah, that's it for this album. So let me close that up. Okay, so that's everything that I got from Choice Music LA during their Black Friday sale. Or wait. No, actually I got one more package during their Black Friday sale, so why don't we look at that one next and then we'll just keep going through like all the packages that contain K-pop albums. I think there's like three more, so we'll see. We'll keep going until like I reach 50 or so minutes and then we'll start splitting this haul into parts. Okay, so here's the next package that I got from Choice Music, so let me just get this open.
Alright, so as you can see, I got all eight versions of Super M's first mini album, Super M, and this is the Korean version. So they previously released the American edition, and it also came with like all eight versions, so you get like one group one, and then like one for all the members. And of course, being the trash that I am for these SM groups, I got all of those versions as well. And I already showed um, in my photo card collection video, like in the part two one, like the pulls that I got so far for those albums. So because I think the photo books are the same, we're just going to take a look at the photo cards. And yeah, let me just get them out of the plastic because there's a really bad glare on 10 and I can't really fix the lighting situation. So yeah, I'm going to take off all the plastics first and then we'll just take a look at my pulls because the photo cards are different and there's two per member. So Hopefully I won't pull any dupes, but knowing my luck, I probably will. Okay, so let's start off with Taman. So here's his cover. It looks super gorgeous. And then here's the back with all the tracks. So yeah, at first I really loved dropping, but not gonna lie, it got played out real fast. And I don't know, now just listening to it just gives me a headache. Like I haven't listened to the song since the concert. Like unless I'm watching the music video, I usually just skip the track. And but the rest of the songs I do love. Like I mean, Supercar and No Manners are God tier songs, and yeah, Beckyun's vocals on I Can't Stand the Rain, like, it's just chef's kiss. <laughs> so anyways, let's get this open, and yeah, I'm hoping for, like, a Lucas, because I didn't pull him in, like, any of the American editions, but we'll see. So, one, two, three. Oh, wait. <laughs> well, I was expecting the photo card to be, like, right in the front. So, it looks like this is just a little, what, booklet? I don't know, I haven't looked through my American editions in so long, I forgot, like, what it comes with. Oh my gosh, I got a group card. I didn't know they did a group card. Was there a group card for the American editions? Like, oh my gosh, they're so cute though. And here's the back with all their signatures. And then the SM ad. And yeah, the photo book. I think it's the same. I'll check it out later. You guys probably already know if it's the same or different. I thought it was the same. So here, let me just keep the photo card out. All right, so the next one. So big ones. Oh no, it got bent. All right, I'll fix that later. Okay, I could feel the photo card. Or no, wait, that's that's the SM ad. <laughs> Where's the photo card? Oh my gosh, I got Taeyong. So, yeah, I, I was going to say I have this photo card already, but I think they're slightly different. They just look similar to the American ones. So, let's put that back. Alright, now Kai. Oh my gosh, why do I have two SM ads? Oh, oh my gosh, I got Kai's little kissy face card. I love that. Oh, seriously, why did I get two ads? <laughs> Alright, and now Tang. Oh my gosh, Taemin! Yay! So far my look is really good. I feel like I'm going to jinx it as I always do, but... Alright. Now, ten. Okay, his must be inside. All right, guys. Oh, I was gonna say, guess who it is? It's Mark. <laughs> so cute. So far, I'm getting like one of each member. That makes me so happy. All right, give me a Lucas. Gosh, does Lucas hate me? 
probably does. I don't blame him. Oh my gosh, Bacon, this photo card. So freaking cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Alright, last one. Lucas, you better come up in your own album. So, one, two, three. Oh my gosh, he did! He looks so good here. Wow. I'm so happy. I literally got all the members, I think. That's insane. I never get that lucky. Oh no, wait, I didn't get all the members. I'm missing somebody. I'm missing 10. What the heck? I forgot that I got a group card, but it's okay because 10's in that group card. So I'm going to count that if I don't get him in this one. So let's see who I get in here. All right. I got 10. Shut up. Okay, wow, that's perfect. So yeah, I got one of each member and the group card. I'm so, so freaking happy. Like, I don't have to trade for this either. Like, yes, let's go. <laughs> Let me just move that aside. All right, so that was my really quick unboxing of Super M's first mini album, the Korean editions. I don't know if you can even call it an unboxing, more like a photo card reveal. Like, I'm so sorry that I just don't have the time to go through each and every photo book, but I'll make sure to do that on my own time. And since we're already on the topic of Super M, why don't I just quickly show you guys what I got at the Super M concert. I only picked up a few things, and still my total came out to be 100, so like, yeah, it's expensive out here. But anyways, I did show these already in my photo card collection. So I got the photo card set. So it came with one group photo card and then like two photo cards per member. So this is the first set, and the backs were just plain. And then I also got this one. In the same set with their signatures in the back are like doodles <laughs> it's really cute so yeah i got that and then hold on here's the bag that they gave me i just got like a boring clear bag a lot of people were like carrying around like the cool super m one like the one with the logo but i guess they ran out of that and just gave me this so i got their light stick and yeah i used this at the concert of course they gave batteries, but those batteries died real quick. <laughs> like, after the night was over, they died, so I had to replace them. But, yeah, here it is. Oh, that's bright. So it just flashes, and then the super flash. So it just has three settings. It's really simple. I mean, not my favorite design, but it's still cool. So I got that, and hold on, I have the receipt so I can tell you how much these things were. Okay, so... Yeah, um, the light stick was $60. The photo card set was $20, which was actually pretty good. I mean, you get 16 photo cards or... What, is it 16? Can I do math? No, 14, 15 photo cards for $20. And then lastly, I just got like the little brochure thing or... Yeah, I don't know what you call it, but... It just has like pictures of all the members, like backstage things, and it's even translated in English, which is nice. So yeah, this was twenty dollars, I think. So my friend was actually making fun of me. She's like, "Why did you get that?" <laughs> I'm like, "I don't know." Like, I really wanted to get the postcard set, but they weren't selling those, so I just opted for this instead. Like, I didn't bother getting like any clothing items or anything because they're just too expensive. And like I said, like all this together was a hundred dollars, anyways. So I don't want to spend more than that. And yeah, that was everything. So now let me clear this up and we can take a look at the next package. Okay, so here's the next package that I got from Choice Music. Now, everything else I'm going to show you that's from Choice Music, I got either before or after their Black Friday or Cyber Monday sale. So yeah, this is probably something that I pre-ordered beforehand. So yeah, let me just get this open. Alright, so as you can see, I finally got my hands on EXO's latest studio album, Obsession, and oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this comeback. I've been looking forward to it all year, and regardless of it being OT6, like, they delivered, and I'm just loving the song so much. But anyways, let me just get them out of the plastic, and then we'll talk about the songs and go through the photo books really quickly as I look at my polls.
Okay, so as you can see, I got all three versions as expected because I'm a huge XOL and I just gotta support my boys whenever they have a comeback because we already know that SM hardly gives them any. So yeah, when they come through, I gotta support them full force. So I got the XO version, the XXO version, and the Obsession version. These are the normal ones. This is a special one. Not a repackage because it has the same songs, but yeah, I guess like it contains uh, pictures from like both of them. I think. <laughs> I don't know. I really haven't watched um, unboxings. Like, I'll watch them, but I'll like just forward through it to see what people pull. <laughs> I don't know. So anyways, um, here's the track list. So yeah, there's 10 tracks and I love them all. Seriously, this is another album that you just can't skip a track. But I mean, my favorites are Obsession, Trouble, and Jekyll. But oh, and Baby You Are. Honestly, Jekyll and Baby You Are are like my top two favorites because yeah, I could listen to those, like, on repeat <laughs> and never get sick of it. So, yeah, this is the concept for the EXO version. It's the plain black and white one. And then for the XXO version, it's this one where they're, like, in kind of, like, demon clown kind of makeup. This actually reminds me of, like, the clown edits that's been going around um, this Halloween, like, on Twitter. So, <laughs> I'm living for this concept. I think it's the one that I prefer over the two. But let's take a look at my polls in this one first, then that one, and then that one. So, I'm just going to move these aside so that we can just get into it. So, first up, I like that they switched it up and started doing the box packagings again. Because I'm getting bored with just, like the book styles packaging oh wow okay so my polls just came out right off the bat and it looks like i got xosc i got chenyo and sehun now for xo i collect like all members but i'm starting to have like second thoughts about that and i don't think it's possible for me to collect like all members anymore it's just i collect too many groups and yeah, I just probably have to downsize my collection a bit, which makes me really sad. I mean, I'm still going to collect EXO. I'm just going to focus on collecting, like, a few members. Okay, so these are just ads. Um, and then they did, like, individual photo books. So, yeah, this isn't going to be an unboxing like I always mention because I'm sure you guys have seen them all already. But I think it's cool that they did this. So you have one for each member. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else that's random in here. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. Okay, it looks like there's like a random member poster, like a folded poster. So let's take a look at that. All right, so let's see who I get. But by the way, I'll talk more about like my collection rules, maybe in an upcoming video or something. I was thinking about doing that because I'm trying to reevaluate my collection and stuff. So we'll see. Oh my gosh, I got Danielle. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this looks so cool. Like, I just love their fits and stuff. Alright, well, I'm not going to collect those anyway, so I'll put that back in there. And put these back inside. Okay, so for the photo cards, I think there's like two versions per member. And then the photo slide, there's like, um, like a different one for the XXO version. So we'll see what I get for that. So here's the next one. Okay, so we have the regular book. Oh, why do my things just come out? Okay, that's fine. Let's just quickly flip through this. Oh my gosh, their hairstyles. They look so good. Okay, I'm loving Becky on this era. Like, that's a whole ass look. Oh my god. <laughs> they're insane. Like, their beauty is out of this world. Like, they look like they're gonna come and kill me, but like, why does that turn me on? <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's not get into that. So, yeah, more of the books. I can't wait to look at these. Like, wow, seriously, this looks like something out of, like, American Horror Story. <laughs> I love that. Like, he could murder me in my sleep, and I thank him. <laughs> All right, so, oh, wait, I didn't look at these. Oh, my God, I saw who I got. I got Kai and Bikyan. Oh, my gosh, the bias and the bias wrecker. And I just said, like, he practically owned this era. But same thing with Kai. Him and his crop top saved, like, 2019. So, all right. So we got the ads. And then poster. Oh, my gosh. I got Chanel's set. <laughs> I mean, I don't like to rank members. But I feel like after, like, my two bias records, he's, like, bias wrecking my bias records, if that makes sense. So, yeah. 
I'm loving like the different contacts. All right, so let's put these back. Okay, I just realized I probably didn't properly show you guys the photo slides, so I just found a white piece of paper so you can see them better. But yeah, these are my pulls. So yeah, Kai is my bias. I'm saying it's my bias record, so I'm so glad that I got their little photo slides because this would be annoying to trade. And not that I'm planning on trading just yet because I'm still like on the fence about whether I should keep trying to collect like all of EXO or should I downsize and just collect like maybe my top three or top four. I don't know. I'll think more about it before like I make any um, rush decisions that I'll regret later. So anyways, lastly we have the special one. I have like no more space on my EXO shelf. I don't know where I'm going to put any of these albums to be honest. But... Yeah, I'll figure that out later. So, here we go. This is just the photo book. Oh, wow. Oh, is this my... Oh, this is my random postcard. Oh, yeah, so this comes with a random postcard while those come with the photo slides. And I got Chen, and he's rocking that, like, 1920s hairstyle. <laughs> Love it. And let's see what else. Okay, ads. Oh, I got back in again. Yes. So, so freaking pretty. So, and we got the individual photo books. I think we just saw all the random things, right? So, this, this. Oh, no, wait. Does it come with anything else? Oh, the folded poster. What's this? This is just another photo book. And then this one, too. So... What am I looking for? Oh, the poster. <laughs> okay, so this is the last random thing that you get. Oh my gosh, I got 10. I love that. This looks so cool. Oh my gosh, that lip ring. Okay, so that was it for Obsession. All right, so those were my pulls, and honestly, I'm so happy with them all. Like, thank you, Bikian and Chanel, for, like, blessing me. And it's nice that Sehun and Kai made an appearance, because as my bias and bias worker, like, they normally avoid me. But I'm surprised that I didn't pull any Suo, because normally he's the one that I pull. So I'm a little disappointed I didn't get him. I was especially looking forward to getting one of his XXO cards, because, yeah, he owned that concept. But anyways, let me clear this up so that we can move on to the next package. All right, so here's the next package from Choice Music. And honestly, the amount of things that I bought from them, especially in this haul, like, can someone please sponsor me? <laughs> like, seriously, I buy from them all the time. They're my new favorite place. Like, I guess the shipping can be slow sometimes because, well, I mean, I choose, like, slow as standard shipping anyways. But, um, yeah, I mean, the prices, man, you can't beat them. <laughs> so anyways, let me get this open. So as you can see, I got Got Seven's Call My Name. Now, again, this is an album that was released in the beginning of November, but I just got around to opening it. Of course, I pre-ordered it, which is why I got all the JYP pre-order benefits. I'm not even sure if they're random or not, but we'll find out in just a second. And then for the album itself, it has four versions, so I got all of them. I forget the names. I think it's just like A, B, C, and D, like something generic like that, so I don't know which one's which, but yeah, just know that I got all four of them. And then... Um, here, why don't we quickly take a look at the Choice Music freebies, because they're really cute. So we got Jin Young, JB, and might I just say that he owned this era. <laughs> like, there's always one person during the comeback that you're just like, whoa, like, seriously, they're killing it. And yes, my boy Mark. Alright, and then we got the little photo cards, so I'll just go through them really quickly. They're really nice. So let's move that aside. All right, now on to the pre-order benefits. So let's get them open. Okay. 
Okay, so I just looked up what these are. So apparently these are the tour log photo essays and there's two types. So it looks like I probably got both already since like there are two white and two black. So I'm guessing there's just one white and one black that you can collect. And then these are the postcard sets and there should be four types. So if I pull any dupes, then I'd like to trade them if possible. But yeah, it's not that important. So let's take a look. All right, so this is one set and I will do like a quick flip through of them. Oh no, <laughs> I got the same one. Okay, at least that one's different. Oh, okay, so two out of four, not bad. So two of these would be up for trade for the other kind, but yeah, so we'll just look at the two that are different. Then. Okay. <laughs> these are really nice. All right, and now this one. So yeah, I'll probably put these, I have a separate binder where I have like things like postcards and stuff, but that's already full and like they're mostly like JYP stuff. Like I have Stray Kids and Got 7 mostly in that one. So maybe I should stop pre-ordering my albums because like I don't know what to do with all these things. I'm on the photo essay book. So yeah, I don't know why I'm showing this. Like I'm not, <laughs> I shouldn't be doing an unboxing yet. So we'll just take a look at my polls for the albums. So I'm going to move these aside. All right, so I'm just going to get all the plastics off for the albums now. Okay, so now let's just go through them one by one really quickly to look at my pulls. So here, let's start with this one. And I really like the album packaging, like it's a nice size, especially since like I'm low in storage nowadays. <laughs> so let's just get it open. And here is the track list. So I really love the title track, Keep Calling My Name. It's definitely one of my favorite Got 7 songs in a while. And I also really love Runaway and Crash and Burn. But again, another great album from Got 7 kings like look at them all right so let's find my pulls oh my gosh jb like i said this boy owned this era and he also has like a nose ring now and my god like i just love boys and nose rings i mean i like anyone that nose rings <laughs> i used to have one too but then it got infected so then i had to remove it and then i got it again and then it got infected again so <laughs> basically i just i can't have nose rings apparently but Anyways, oh my gosh, look at my polls. Okay, so I got Mark, who I'll keep, and Yogyam, he looks so freaking cute in this picture. Like, he's like, call me. <laughs> so freaking cute. I'm actually, like, reading a Jcook fanfic right now, and Yogyam made an appearance, and it's not often that that happens, like, reading BTS fanfics, but I love his character in that story. <laughs> he's such a flirt. Like, in this photo card, it just reminded me of that. But anyways, he'll be up for trade for either Mark or Jackson, because... I'm thinking about um, cutting down on my GOT7 collection as well, and unfortunately I might be cutting out Bam Bam, like in future albums. I'll keep like all my old uh, Bam Bam photo cards, but going forward, I think I'm just going to focus on Mark and Jackson, since they are my top two, but it makes me really sad. But it's all JYP's fault. We were doing so good, like up until like Turbulence era and stuff. But anyways, he decided to go photo card crazy, and like no one can keep up with that amount. It's just insane. <laughs> So anyways, let's just go through this. It's just the ad. Oh, there they are. No, it's like Bam Bam like trying to tell me to keep him. Oh no, and I got him with the light stick. These are usually my favorite photo cards. <laughs> what the heck? What do I do? And I got Jackson. Okay, well I'll definitely be keeping him, but yeah, it's a tough decision. I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going back and forth with that. All right, and now let's look through this one. Okay. Oh, I just saw my photo cards. He looks so good. Again, he's trying to persuade me to keep him, and it won't take much to persuade me. <laughs> oh no, I got him again. And I got Mark. Oh, okay. Guys, what do I do? <laughs> he clearly doesn't want to let me go, and I don't want to let him go, so yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do photo cards. 
Yugya, oh, Young J, sorry, <laughs> can't read. And Mark, that's so cute. But seriously, is it necessary to have like seven photo cards per member? Or maybe I should just collect like certain types. I know some people do it that way. But I don't know, I feel like I'm like in too deep with my Got7 collection to like do something like that. But yeah, I like focusing on just like member specific type of collections. So we'll see. <laughs> but anyways, those are all my pulls for Got7. So if anybody wants to trade for, um, yeah, basically, see, I have to make this decision now then if I'm going to say it. Okay, well, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm collecting Mark and Jackson at the moment. So if you want any of the other cards that I pulled... Young J, Bam Bam, Yu Gi they're all up for trade, as well as um, the pre-order postcard sets, the two extras that I have. And yeah, let me clear this up. And we got two more packages that I want to try to squeeze into this first part of the video, so let's do that. Alright, so here's the next package, and this one I believe is from K-Pop Town, so yeah, let me just get that open. Alright, so as you can see, I got two signed copies of Seventeen's An Ode album, and yeah, I'm just so freaking excited because uh, this is the first time that I have a signed copy by June. I previously got a signed copy of You Made My Dawn of Mingyu, but uh, June's was sold out at that time, so this time I managed to get them both, and I'm just really excited because I double biased them. And yeah, I mean, the poet version and the real version were both my favorites, but the real version is like a black cover, so I didn't think that the signature would show up that nicely, even if they signed it in white. Like, I prefer to have like black ink, so yeah, I decided to get the truth version since this is kind of like a lighter color. But anyways, let me just get this open. Okay, so first up, let's just get a closer look at this beautiful signature of his. I mean, it looks kind of like washed up a bit, and even the back, it has like stains a little bit, but that's okay. So, it looks like they already got the sticker open, so let's just slide this out. Alright, so let's see who I got. Oh my gosh, I got some Quan. I actually still have his um, Hope version photo book, which I'm still trying to trade because, yeah, clearly I only collect him in June, but he's a cutie. I pull him a lot. He looks so cute in that sweater. Alright, well, if anybody wants to trade, let me know. Or, you know what? At the end, I'll show you guys what I'm trading. But, basically, if you see anything that's not Mingyu or June, it's up for trade. So just feel free to message me if you're interested. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I got Dino and Simkwan. They're adorable. I actually pulled these two the most, so I'm really not surprised that I pulled them again. So let's move these aside. Oh, I should be careful and keep that facing upwards. All right, so now moving on to the next one. Okay, so here's the front with his signature. And, oh no, it looks like I have to peel this. Okay, give me a second, guys. Alright, so I ended up just peeling that off camera because, yeah, this one was giving me problems. Like, the other ones actually all came off easy, like, even the previous five copies that I bought. But, anyways, so there's this beautiful signature. I don't know if I show that or not. <laughs> so, yeah, let's slide out the photo book. Okay. So, for the photo book... Oh, I got June! Okay, I can't even remember if I have his or not. I honestly don't remember. I'll have to go back and see because I've been trading a lot. Ooh, I love that picture. So yeah, in the edits I'll like mention if I have this or not. Otherwise it's up for trade if it's a dupe, but I really don't think that I have that. Oh, okay. So it looks like I got Hoshi and it's stuck. Did I get doubles? Oh my god. Guys. I got three of Hoshis. That's crazy. All right. Well, I'm wondering now if there's another one or are those my pulls? Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> there's another one. Oh, oh, I forgot the circle card in that one. Okay. So, yeah, I got uh, Wuji and, again, Dino. I got Mingyu. 
Okay, you know, a lot of these photo cards look very similar. I don't even know if I have this or not. We'll take a look after this. I don't think I have this one either, though. Oh my gosh, how many photo cards does this album come with? I completely forgot, but I got Jungun. Okay, I think it's meant to come with just four photo cards. So, like, these are stuck together, but yeah, so I guess this is supposed to be like one, two, three, and four. And then it comes with um, the circle card in this book. And then there was a fold-out poster or a fold-out poster. So here, let's see who I got for that. And who did I get? Oh, I got Uji. <laughs> so yeah, I have um, Uji circle card and fold-out poster. And June's truth. But basically everything else besides Mingyu and June will be up for trade. And hold on, let me go back and see now who I got for the folded poster in this one. I just went through it really fast, so I didn't see it. Okay, so there it is. Oh my gosh, Sun Kwan. <laughs> so, yeah, I actually really love this concept so much. All their pictures came out so nice. And let's see. Oh, I forgot the stickers too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So I got Jungun's circle card and Dino again. I got Scoops. <laughs> He's adorable. And then the stickers. So wait, did this one come with stickers? My gosh, sorry. This is a really messy unboxing, but it's been so long that I've opened these albums. Yeah, it did. I just forgot that it came with so many things. Okay, so those are all my pulls, and it turns out that I don't have that Mingyu photo card and that June photo book, so I'll be keeping those two, but everything else that you see over here would be up for trade for any Mingyu or June that I don't already have. So the best way to find out what I don't have is just to DM me directly and ask me. Like, just show me a picture of your photo card or whatever it is that you want to trade, and I'll get back to you and let you know if I have that or not, because, yeah, right now I don't currently have a spreadsheet. Like, I was in the middle of making one. It's just a lot of work, and I'm too lazy, but I'll definitely get around to doing that soon and I do plan on doing like a wholesale trade video so you'll get a better idea of like what I have what I don't have but yeah and I also still have like a bunch of photo cards from like the first five copies that I got of the album so if you're interested I still have all of these up for sale including that um random and you teenage photo card if you guys want to cross trade I'm um, down and then I also have this and Quan hope photo book so yeah, just hit me up and let me know because I have so much still to collect for this album, but I'll probably be working on it for quite some time. So <laughs> anyways, let me clear this up and we'll get into the next package if there's time. If not, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in part two.